foot birthday weekly objectives have been released and they do look very exciting so lots of people are asking questions how to actually complete them what's going to be the best way for the cheapest price but also do it efficiently because these requirements are not exactly the same as the carnival ones it was a lot easier to understand with the last weekly objectives these one now are a lot more confusing so if we actually look at them here it does mention a thing or two about common and uncommon players talking about non-rare and rare players so that is a bit confusing but currently when I'm making this video half an hour after 6 p.m. rare players are actually working but that might change you might have to only stick to non-rare golds but when I'm making this video that is kind of a bit in a confusing situation so you might just have to be using non-rare golds because it does currently say here for birthday if we actually look at the Naldo and Jovino one it does actually say common players so of course common players are just the non-rare and uncommon are rare golds so it is a bit confusing and if you actually look at the disallowed rarities it doesn't say anything about rare cards it just mentions icons and flashback cards so anyway when you are going to complete these weekly objectives and you still don't see rare golds under the rarities then you are fine you should be able to use rare gold cards so I'm going to be showing you now the best ways of actually doing it there is actually a glitch on Xbox you can use if you want you just have to score a goal go one nil up then go into settings and search nat type and then you will automatically get the win before we get into the next point if you are new here make sure you do subscribe we are aiming for 19,000 subscribers we are very close to that and then after that a huge milestone 20,000 and I'm also going to be making around two videos a day so you definitely don't miss them I don't think there is a glitch on ps4 but I won't really recommend using glitches too much maybe it could lead you to getting banned and it's not really the nicest things to do but if you just want it purely for the quickest way and you don't really want to grind out for it maybe that is an option for you but you do need to make sure you do have the best team possible as you can see here if you actually go through the leagues it stops you from major leagues I know lots of, lots of you are going to be trying to do it from the MLS because you are aiming for that Zlatan or whatever card you are aiming for and it stops you from the top leagues it doesn't mean you have to use the league where that player comes from any Anything like that you can just use another league and if it is going to be these non rare gold cards in the future when they update this there is actually really good players in the Russian League even for rare cards the Russian League is extremely good I definitely recommend you guys to go and take a look at it I am actually going to go into a concept as you can see here I get two strikers and a cam and this is going to work for the non rares as well I do believe you could get some maybe better rares if you actually look at it but right now of course when they don't update it you can go for the rares but when they do maybe update it if it's just going to be non rares the Russian league has some really nice ones so definitely go and check them out and definitely try and get the best team don't be trying to do this when you don't really have the best team because other people are going to have better teams and you are going to find that you are going to struggle so going into the next point now if it is going to be just these non rare gold cards it is going to be a lot harder to actually play games so that should be after EA Sports are going to fix everything also check the comments I will pin the comment most likely when EA Sports are going to fix this problem and if this is going to be the case you should think about quitting your games after you do go one or two goals down that is going to help you a lot and also I know some people do get annoyed at it but if it is actually nil nil and you can notice this guy's a lot better than you and you're not going to be able to win the game maybe you could quit then as well but if you are thinking about your record and everything like that then of course don't quit any games just go and you do your best try and win the games but if you don't really care about your record just trying to get these cards as soon as possible definitely think about quitting your games it is going to speed up the process a lot more and then after that you should be matched up with easier people leave a comment down below if you need extra help thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time